Oi there, mateys, and welcome to me latest vlog. You know, it be many times since me recorded a vlog, and for this particular bewitched portrait, me thinks me be showing you a sneak peek into me pirate home theater, me be building with me own two hands. So set sail, weigh anchor, and come along and take a look at what will be me own pirate home cinema art. All right, and welcome to our new home. So we're gonna start this tour in the secondary bonus room uh, that we have upstairs. This is currently the temporary location of our television set, uh, speakers, and our theater seating. I've actually upgraded, for those of you that visit, have visited our previous home, I've upgraded speakers. Uh, we'll have a 7.1 surround system in the new theater, uh, although I only have a 5.1 set up in here at the moment. As I swing around here, you can see I've got a few trinkets already on display, such as my uh, die-cast cars there and whatnot. So let's go ahead and walk through. This is my walk of fame, so to speak. You can see I've got a lot of autographed pictures on the wall up here. Many, many Star Trek autographs. And as we swing around here, once again, temporary location, a lot of these pirate trinkets and displays that you see will be, uh, those will be on display in the new pirate room. And that leads back to downstairs there. There's our hearth area down that way. Right here is what used to be a closet, which is obviously becoming a bathroom. We've been working on that. Uh, we do have it plumbed out for a stand-up shower. And it's rather interesting. If you look here, you can see where the door used to be when we first moved in. Uh, but based on my theater design, I didn't want that door there. And we had talked about making this a bathroom in any case. So we moved, or I moved. A little bit of help from my dad-in-law there. Uh, this doorway to right there. And I've uh, spent a lot of time walling that up. Just about ready to paint it, I think. So let's go ahead and head in to the theater. Or what will be the theater. Still a lot under construction, but I do have several things dressed out. Uh, lanterns, windows, with a nice view there, that, which is a painting that I did uh, a few weeks ago. And that window is backlit with some blue lighting there. Um, very dark. In fact, let's see if we can get a little additional light going on here. Might make some of the details easier to see. For those of you that have been keeping up with my progress on Facebook, I was fussing about my thermostat the other day. Well, I've actually solved that problem by making a little fold-up box there uh, to keep that nice and hidden because it was really annoying me how much that thing stood out. Uh, just recently, the most recent thing I've finished is this column right here with the lantern. Uh, which means all of the electro all of the lighting for this particular room, even though the room's not itself complete, uh, the lighting is complete. This is all the lighting you'll have. We have halogens, which will accent some things we can put on the wall. Uh, these over here will be the DVD Blu-ray cabinets. Now these will have shelves and they will not be open like this. I'll actually be building some doors uh, so that they fold out. Over in this column area, in some fashion, I actually plan to display some swords right around here. I wanted to do a wraparound, but I began to discover a slight design flaw. And when I say a wraparound, a uh, piece of wood that will actually go around here that you could put weapons on, things of that nature. Uh, but what I discovered is with the cabinets, any kind of piece that we have coming out to here, uh, that's going to be in conflict with the doors that will open there. So I'm probably going to do something slightly different or just a little redesign. Probably still going to display some swords in that area somewhere, but it's not going to be quite what I originally wanted to do. And a lot of the design, I talk about what I originally wanted to do, a lot of the design has changed. Uh, originally, this was going to be a single window, the one to the right on video there. And then over in the left, I was going to build an alcove and put a poster, but uh, in the end, I figured I would get uh, two sheets of glass and go ahead and do two windows and in the end I'm very glad I did that really makes it uh, a lot more interesting there and this glass you know I called up the local 
uh, glass place to ask them about seated glass and I gave them my dimensions and it was really expensive. Uh, so believe it or not, what you see here is nothing more than shower glass that you can get at either Lowe's or Home Depot, much cheaper than what they gave me. I simply uh, bought the shower doors. I removed all of the aluminum trimming uh, and just discarded it because all I really wanted was the glass. And I thought the effect works very, very well. All the work you see here, that is all custom work. I did all of this myself, stained the wood, cut the wood. Many thanks to my dad-in-law for letting me uh, borrow his miter saw as well as his table saw. Um, and all of the window bars here that you see, I trimmed all of that out as well. Still going to paint that. That's not going to stay a wooden color like that. That's also going to be a dark brown. Uh, any of the maroon, as I back around here, mm, bright light, that you see, that was the original room color. I am not planning to keep that. Uh, I probably will do a dark brown of some sort, uh, or well, maybe a light brown. I haven't fully decided, and that's the great thing about paint. If I paint it one color and I don't like it, I can simply paint over. But just to give you an idea what's going to happen here, um, originally, as you see the column here, originally I had planned a column on this side, uh, and I'm missing it a little bit. Uh, my eye just sort of wants to see that column on the other side. What I am planning to do, however, is I'm going to dress this wall out. There's actually going to put uh, a faux column, if you will, that'll be uh, up against the wall, come here, come down there, and hopefully that will uh, give this support beam right up here uh, some conformity. Uh, but in any case, once again, plans change. Originally, we were going to have a serving bar in this area here, and I decided I really didn't want it uh, so close to the doorway there. So the reason I eliminated this other column from the design, this is where we plan to put our serving bar, right in this area right there. Uh, that hanging lantern that you see, I'm not entirely sure that's where it's going to stay uh, because I'm really going to want that to be over the bar area. But um, it's, it'll be easy to move. I can simply uh, remove that screw, relocate it. I can shorten the chain if I need to. Um, I'm certainly, there's not going to be any need whatsoever to lengthen it. So, all right, this wall here will eventually be planked out, although it may be one of the last things I do, or near to the last things I do. I still have to finish some electrical work um, for this wall for the main theater. And as you look here, you can see some railing. I actually have plan to have a ship's wheel mounted to that middle post right there, uh, about a four-foot ship's wheel. Going to have to order that eventually. Uh, any of the padding you see here is padding left over from the old carpet. That will not stay. I have hardwood flooring on order. Hopefully that'll be in soon, because uh, probably when it does come in, that'll be something I go ahead and put down. I'll stop everything else and go ahead and get the flooring in. Here you can see where the switches will be for the main theater area. It's a four-gang box. I'll actually have four switches, and what those switches will control, I'll have some lanterns. Uh, that will be going in these boxes as well as a couple near the front there. Uh, I will also have three sets of rope lights. I have a couple installed, a white rope light along the baseboard down here at the bottom. You won't see the light directly, uh, but you'll have some incandescent light that will that'll light the walkway area here. And these rope lights are really inexpensive, and a lot of this theater is all about budget. It's all about budget. Um, take a look right here. Uh, you'll see these are some purple rope lights. I've also have some amber. I'm going to have two different colors uh, that will go along the walls right at the point where the angle starts to give you some ambient sky lighting. I chose amber and purple because I was looking for sunset colors. So I think that's going to turn out pretty neat as well. All of these sides right here, the reason the black is only painted down to a certain point, uh, will be planked out. They'll be planking all along the sides. Hmm. All right, as we look at the theater area a little more closely, you'll see my riser here that I built. This will be dressed out in wood along the sides, but it will have carpeting. The game plan is to put carpeting um, all along this area, this will be a section for theater seats. Those video rockers will not stay. That's not the theater seating. And another row of theater seats will go right here. Now, for starters, we'll end up using our theater seats that we have. 
Um, and they're not really, to be honest, designed for this particular theater design. There's a row of four that's curved. I'll split them apart. We'll have two, two. Uh, so for it will be seating capacity of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three people could sit at the bar. Uh, ultimately, we plan to hopefully sooner rather than later. We're actually going to uh, get some new theater seats that where we can fit three seats per row. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, then seven, eight, nine. This will be hardwood flooring all through here. And as I said, all of the riser will be carpeted on top. And there will be a carpeted area right out here in front where this front row of seats go. Um, as we take a look, and it's, whoa, very bright. That window will ultimately be covered. Um, not going to use it. I'll take a piece, uh, paint it black, tack it up there. Uh, but you won't ever see it because by the time we plank out this particular wall, and there's the audio video cabinet right there in the center, and the right hand speaker there will go over there on the left hand side of the frame. Uh, down below, that's where I plan to put my subwoofer and a cubby hole right down in there. The left hand speaker here. And over here, you'll notice a fairly large op opening. I'm going to make a door. That's just going to be a little storage area. I'm probably not going to do any dressing on the back side of this particular wall. Uh, so you just open the door and you can throw all kinds of things in there that you need to store. And where a lot of my tools are at the moment, that is where the television will go. We have a 67-inch screen. It's a Samsung high-definition TV. Uh, now, part of the game plan is to have some sales so to speak, have a couple of bars stretching across the top uh, where we'll have just some fabric hanging down as if the sails are folded up. Uh, not only is this decoration, but it will serve double duty in helping to uh, just absorb sound since we will have a lot of wood in here, some hardwood flooring, things of that nature. Uh, plan to do rigging along the sides. That's going to be a lot of just decoration after the room is mostly structurally finished. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed my little sneak peek into my pirate-themed home theater I'm working on. Obviously, there's still a lot of work to do, um, even though a lot of it's starting to come along and come along well, I think. Uh, but in any case, I'll try to do vlogs a little more often, giving you guys that are interested an update uh, as to what's going on. So uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or anything or comments, feel free to ask or leave them on Facebook or even in the comment bar below here on the YouTube channel. So in any case, this is Commander Dan signing off and telling you to keep a weather eye. Arr.